here. So about you to leave me be. Howdy. That's a nice horse. Hey, pardon, hold up. What you want me for? I'm gonna enjoy robbing you, tough guy. I warned you what would happen. Is that worth fighting over? And what is Chelonianism? No less than the recent rediscovery of theology. <laughs> Gentlemen! Safety. Uh, safety. Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? Only when dealing with idiots. Now let me talk to the boy! Goddamn lunatic! 
Who do you think you are? <clears throat> That's enough, Arthur! Now, kid, come on. This is crap. You're better than this. Better than what? Better than one in paradise? Better than thinking these fools know a damn thing about paradise. Now, let me take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man. Sure. Well, come home. No, not a chance! Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Yeah. All right, girl. Christ's sakes, Jamie! Just hold up a minute! You pop up out of nowhere? Sorry! They're just using you! Telling you what you want to hear! Sisters worry about you. I was doing just fine by myself. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way. This is none of your damn business. You good. Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. Let's talk about this! I don't have to answer to you! Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, mister! What are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? Calm down, will you? They're my friends! <laughs> if you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you! I swear it! What are you talking about? You ain't no killer! You don't know who I am! Morgan. Leave me alone! Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Calm down! Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know... There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Idiot. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time. Jamie Gillis, you were a kid last time I saw you. you. Didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall.
fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, a nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. Well, Carpentry or horses or something, but all right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Your father told me what you do. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Make it quick or I might run off again. You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? Jamie! Jamie! Oh, come home. Please, you've... Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. <laughs> 